get it on him. How's everyone doing on this morning? Talking about the power of prayer. The power of prayer. I don't like this thing. Let me share this morning, is it? Look like it is. Hmm. Doesn't look like it is. So I'll go with what I got. Oh, Amen. So, talk about the power of prayer. There's prayer, power in prayer. Amen. We will look and see. Um, I'll go to the scripture here about the power of prayer. Everyone is having a blessed day on this day. Everyone is having a blessed day today. Amen. Post, post where you're from. Post where you're from. We read in Second uh, Kings twenty. Five and six. Second, okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm see Isaiah thirty eight. Isaiah thirty eight. Okay, Isaiah 38 says this. <clears throat> Isaiah 38. In those days, in those days was Hezekiah sick unto death. And Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, came unto him and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, set thine house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. Then Hezekiah turned his face toward the wall and prayed unto the Lord. And said, Remember now, O Lord, I beseech thee, how I have walked before thee in truth, and with a perfect heart, and have done that which is good in thy sight. And Hezekiah wept sore. Go and say, okay, and then, uh, this is what the Lord said. Then, the, then, then came the word of the Lord to Isaiah, saying, Go and say to Hezekiah, Thus saith the Lord, the God of David, thy father, I have heard thy prayer. I have seen thy tears. Behold, and, okay, behold, I would add unto thy days 15 years. Man, he said he'll add unto his days 15 years all because he went and he prayed unto the Lord and he believed and he believed God. There's power in prayer. Here, here is a man, uh, uh, first, the Lord told him to get his house in order. You're going to die. Uh, get, you know, whatever you're trying to, uh, get it in order because he tell him you, you're going to die. You're not going to live. You're going to die. That's what the Lord told him. The Lord told him, get your house in order. You're going to die. So, Hezekiah said, remember me, Lord. Remember when I was, remember the things I've done in your in, in your name, remember the things I've done, remember how I was faithful to you, all these things. Hezekiah prayed to the Lord and he and he wept and he and he prayed and he and, and the Lord told him. And he went back and the Lord told him that uh the prophet went back to him and said, You're gonna live. 
you're going to live. He added 15 more years to his life. Here is a man who was at the brink of death. And all, and he prayed to the Lord. And the Lord got the, the prophet to change the prophecy and spoke 15 more years. The Lord used, uh, and, and the Lord gave him 15 more years to live. Amen? Amen. That's a blessing. So remember, there is power in prayer. Power can get the Lord to change his mind. Even, even when he has said you're going to die, the Lord can change his mind and say you're going to live. Even when he's fed up with you, even when he has, 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 has got to a point where he is, he, he has, um, you know, he's saying that he's going to just wipe you out. He's going to let you just let you die. He, he He's going to, the Lord can turn around and say, you're going to live. He can give you another chance to live. Amen. He can give you another chance to live. So we thank the Lord and there is power in prayer. There's power in prayer. Amen. So pray, 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 pray. Always say an attitude of, of praying. Always pray. The Bible says to pray without ceasing. That means in other words, you, that, you don't stop praying. You just pray anytime, anytime, anywhere, any place, however long, whatever. But the, the main thing is, is just pray Anytime, every time you get a chance, anytime the Lord lays it on your heart to pray, pray. Pray as much as possible. Pray as much as possible. Amen. Pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. Amen. So we praise the Lord on today and uh, I pray that this has been a blessing to you. I wasn't able to share too many groups. Um, for some reason, I wasn't able to share too many uh, to too many groups. Uh, that's, um, disappointing because, uh, I can't, uh, pray. I can't, uh, share the groups. Amen. But, uh, who is this meant for? The message meant for, they'll, they'll get it. Amen. Whoever the message is, whoever this is meant for, they, uh, will get it. So, um, so. Yep. So whoever it was meant for, it will get it. It will uh, get this message. But thank you all for joining me. This is Apostle Coleman. Thank you all for joining me. Join me on next Sunday. Join me on next Sunday, and um, and share, share, share. That's all I can say is uh, share. Amen. So thank you all for joining me. Join me on next Sunday. What's wrong with this thing? Why?